What's up homies, JP back at you once again bringing you guys another video. So uh, it's been long known that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is my favorite horror film of all time as well as the franchise being among one of my favorites. Like I absolutely love the original favorite film of all time 10 out of 10. The sequel Chainsaw 2 is one of my favorite sequels of all time. Chainsaw 3 I like a good bit. Chainsaw 4 I don't like I think it's a very bad movie yet I can still find it enjoyable on certain days uh, then you have the remakes which I absolutely love as well the remake to me is one of the best remakes ever up there with Rob Zombie's Halloween and I would go as far as to saying that it's a 9 to a 10 I love it that much and then you have Texas Chainsaw the beginning which honestly I like just as much as the remake maybe a little bit less but I still regard it very very high because it is a movie that you know continues a story that I liked in the first one and uh, brings back all the elements that I love and then you have sorry guys my contacts bugging me but and then you have Texas Chainsaw 3D which I thought was pretty solid it's probably the weakest entry next to part 4 but I still think it's a pretty solid movie I think it's a little bit of extra hate uh, than it actually deserves but then they decided to make the newest chainsaw which I believe is um, Leatherface uh, Texas Chainsaw I, I forget what the actual title is let me see what the title is I think it's just Leatherface um, so that's been in production for a very long time I, I don't remember when it started filming but I swear to god there were stills uh, like full year ago or longer and for the longest time I've covered this film and, and wondered when the hell it was coming out and Lionsgate was just sitting on it like it was a completed film and they've been sitting on it now I had a theory on to why once the writer eventually came out and said that hey guys if you guys want Chainsaw let Lionsgate know because it's finished it's ready to go but they're just sitting on it and I read a little interview where he, the uh, writer producer or director or somebody said that um, they really made it with the fans in mind like they tried to tie in all of the films as best as they could even if timelines were a little bit messed up and it got me thinking like maybe this horror film maybe this Texas Chainsaw uh, film this Leatherface film is actually very much geared towards fans and maybe Lionsgate didn't know how to market it to a wide audience because of it being so tied in with the franchise or something like that now this is just a theory this is just speculation but I figured that I would share my thoughts on why they might have been holding off on it now the news came out a little while ago that it was going to get a October theatrical release date now that's changed a little bit it's still getting an October theatrical release date but this is a limited release and it will be uh, limited theatrical plus VOD October 20th of 20 th 2017 so we have a October release date for Chainsaw but it is actually getting a pre-release via DirecTV exclusive now I am a subscriber to DirecTV I've had DirecTV for over 10 years uh, close to 15 at this point if not longer and I will be watching this on TV like I will buy it from direct TV if I don't get a screener link or something like that uh, in the past I have actually gotten screeners for direct TV exclusives which are kinda weird um, but I think this is very interesting for one I believe every chainsaw film has gotten a theatrical release I think even part four had a had a theatrical run um, it might not have been as wide. I know that film was shelved for a, lot, a long time and then it was eventually released after uh, Renee Zellweger and Matthew McConaughey became stars. I think it was put in theaters to try to capitalize on their names. Uh, but this film will be available September 21st on DirecTV and I just wanted to give my brief thoughts on uh, this happening. So it's similar to the Child's Play franchise where you had Child's Play 1, 2, and 3 theatrical. Child's Play 4, which was Brad Chucky theatrical. Sita Chucky was theatrical and kind of bombed from my memory. Then you have Curse of Chucky, which came out direct to video and did well. It, from what I read, it did very well. It was a brand new Child's Play film. It came out in October 
and everybody bought it. I know everybody on YouTube had it, everybody in podcast land had it, uh, so it was a very successful release. So do I think that this Chainsaw film will have success being a directed video film? Absolutely. 100% it will do well. Whether the film is bad or good, day one, many people will pick it up. Um, but I gotta say that it does hurt a little bit to know that I'm gonna see this film not in the theater. I mean, it's possible that I get it around me, but by that time I had already seen it and I might not want to go to the theater and spend more money and watch it uh, unless I loved it than I would. Uh, so it's kind of a very interesting model here. And I think that this is a future thing that we may see. In, I mean, you have juggernaut franchises, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street. Those are your three biggest from yesteryear. Uh, now, you do have stuff that came out later that, that are, that are you know, big franchises as well, like Saw and Paranormal Activity. For the most part, those films are probably going to still be theatrical. But the films of yesteryear, the films of the 80s, uh, this could be the future here. I do think that Blumhouse will push the new Halloween and it will be released theatrically. But what does that say about Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street? We know that the Friday the 13th film series has had a very troubled production getting a sequel. I mean, they announced the sequel shortly after the original remake, the original remake, uh, launched, uh, was released, and they announced that they were doing a part two. That was back in 2009. That's almost 10 years ago. And... I mean, dude, is it possible that our next Friday the 13th film will be released direct-to-video? I think that it's a positive and a negative, and I, I'm very, very conflicted. Because on one hand, I already know the budget was for a theatrical release for this new Chainsaw. At least I, I'm pretty sure that, that this was intended to be a theatrical release at one point. And I think they got cold feet and they shelved it and then now they want to dump it on home video because they know it'll make a killing on home video, DirecTV. They probably signed a big deal with DirecTV uh, to, to have that as an exclusive film. Um, so... It, it, it hurts me to know that going forward, though, the rest of the Chainsaw films can also potentially be direct-to-video, which means the budgets will go down, um, but it also means that we will see them more often. Uh, Curse of Chucky was released in 2013. We got a new Child's Play coming out here with Cult of Chucky this year. So it was just a couple years later, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, so like four years later, we got a new Child's Play. It took a little bit longer than expected, but Child's Play is also not the juggernaut that uh, Chainsaw and Friday the 13th, Elm Street, Halloween are. Uh, it, it's bittersweet because with Chainsaw, I have a personal attachment to that franchise because it is has houses my favorite film, but... Friday the 13th I even have a bigger attachment to because uh, I love all of those movies to death and it's my favorite franchise. So let's first talk a little bit more about Chainsaw then I'll get into the potential of the other franchises. So uh, Chainsaw, this new Chainsaw, this Leatherface film, I am a little worried that it's going to be bad because anytime you have a film that seemed to be intended for theatrical and then they dump it on video, it's either A, bad, or B, it's something like Trick or Treat, where they just don't think the mainstream will enjoy it. And that is very possible with Chainsaw. Um, the mainstream has a very, um, you know, catered thing. You know, you have to cater to the mainstream a lot of times when you release something theatrical. We just saw It Comes at Night do terrible, even though I think it's the best film of the year, if not, you know, second best, third best. Uh, so far. And it did terrible. Because it didn't really cater to what the mainstream expect. So many people said this film was marketed poorly. I did, I, I feel ripped off because I was expecting this and I got that. That does not affect me because I am completely open to anything. Show me whatever you want. I don't even watch trailers. Um, so I think that it could be that it's not geared enough towards the mainstream, and that's why they're dumping it there. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping it's not bad. But we're just going to have to wait and see. Um, I think 
in terms of the future of the Chainsaw franchise, can it go back to being a wide theatrical release? Absolutely, it can. But I wouldn't be surprised if from here on out we see Chainsaw, especially if this one does well, which it will do well uh, on video uh, and uh, VOD. I, I do think that it will do well. It is a little bit different than Curse of Chucky because Curse of Chucky came out on video on disc the say at the same time. I don't think that's happening with this Chainsaw film, so that could affect things. But it seems like people are more into VOD now anyway, so it might actually um, not affect it too much. Um, but I think that it's definitely possible if this film does well uh, that we see more films from the Chainsaw franchise come out faster, as well as more often. So, that's probably going to happen. Now, let's get back to Friday the 13th and Elm Street. So, Friday the 13th has had a very troubled production getting a new one out. And it doesn't seem hard, right? All you need to do is have Jason killing people in Camp Crystal Lake and not in space, you know? And then you got a Jason film. Uh, creative ways, boobs, all that stuff, blood, and you have a Friday the 13th film for the most part. Um... A lot of people are saying they're overcomplicating it. I tend to think that at this point they are. I have no problem with taking time and fleshing out a story for a Friday the 13th film because even though it is very simple, I don't really want to see the same thing over and over and over again. But since it's been so long, I'm cool with seeing the same thing over uh, again one more time because it's, you know, I just want one by now. But. Um, I, I, I kind of liked where they were going with some of the other scripts that came out after the, the Friday 13th film was eventually canned. But I think that this could be very telling, this Chainsaw franchise move to video on demand and uh, direct to video style. And I think that with Friday 13th being a low budget franchise to begin with, like most of the films in the franchise were pretty low budget, I think that... The studio heads will probably look at it and say, listen, we have the rights to these things. If they do well on home video, we can probably just make a new one like every year or every other year and release it on home video um, and people will buy it. And honestly, maybe that's where it belongs at this point. Maybe that's where it will find success. Maybe that's where uh, it will do well. Um, it's very interesting when you think about that though because forever Friday the 13th has always been theatrical and there's a lot of movies in that franchise. There's 12 films if you count Freddy vs. Jason and they've all been theatrical, wide theatrical releases. So to then um, drop it to video or video on the manor or home video, you kind of wonder if it cheapens it a little bit. You kind of wonder if they put as much energy, as much time, as much money, as much talent into these films if they are direct to video. Yet, there is a parallel there because the original series did not have time, money, talent, any of that. So, could we see the next wave of Friday the 13th films sort of replicate what they did in a past, in the past? in a new medium with video on demand because if you think about it the stars kind of align there you the, the original films were made very quickly they were pumped out one after another they did not have very much money they also did not have very you know prestigious actors they were pretty much no names at, at the time that they were in the film I mean Kevin Bacon and Crispin Glover are, are respected actors and and stuff now but at the time they were just you know first films or, or you know just only had a couple films uh, so so you take all those things and you look at it now and you're like okay well if they put it on video they're probably not gonna have much money they're not gonna have uh, many stars they're not going to have much talent writing the scripts and, and directing the films. Of course, we know the people who directed the Friday films, some of them went on to do other things, and they're, like, known in horror, but that's because of the fandom. I mean, at the time, these were not, um, you know, super, super big directors and things like that. Um, you look at Sean Cunningham's filmography, and, and mm, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> so, I think that it's very possible that we can see a renaissance if you will of the Friday the 13th films and it may seem different 
because it's not theatrical, but technically they they will be doing the same thing that made that franchise successful. It does just hurt to know that I may never see another Chainsaw and another Friday the 13th in the theater again because I love that experience. I love seeing it with a group of people. And I've only seen one Friday, two Friday the 13th films in the theater. I've only seen Freddy vs. Jason. I've only seen the remake. And I wish to God that I could have saw all the originals in the theater. And I've really been amping up my theater going experience lately. I just seen Jaws the other day in the theater and I loved it. And it's awesome to see these old films in the theater because I wasn't alive or I wasn't uh, able to see them back when they premiered. So it does pain me a little bit to think that I might not be able to see a Chainsaw or a Friday the 13th in the theater. But those are just my thoughts on this news. And let me know your thoughts, guys, because I'm very curious in that. Hell, make a video if you would like. Uh, Steven Ferrandino, I'm calling you out, homie. Make a video. I want to hear your thoughts. All right. Peace out, guys.